perfectly clear that the private sector, at least in agricultural area, is moving more toward the philanthropic mindset. But I don't see that the public sector is also recognizing, to the extent that it must, that su successful, sustainable businesses, right down to the farmer level, are what they should be creating. I think the major thing that governments need to do is make it easier to use modern science to shape crops to be more nutritious. The bulk of private sector investment in research today, just in, in terms of dollars, is in GMO research for commodity crops. The reason for that is simply because it's so expensive to get through the regulatory hurdles that only the commodity crops and the big companies can afford to do that. And we underinvest, we underinvest, we underinvest in the most basic of our human needs, which is food. The whole area of risk management for farmers is another area. We are battling through that in the healthcare area. It's equally true in the, in the agriculture area because farmers are subject to forces of weather, particularly with climate change, with the climate changing, that are beyond their control. And that's where governments can function. I think that one of the ways that we can begin to catalyze that change is to bring farming back into the city. Urban agriculture is an idea whose time has come. You can design greenhouses into buildings. You can capture some of the heat that the cities generate, and you can have fresh vegetables. For the locavores, that's as good as it gets. Integrated aquaculture and horticulture is an ancient practice, but you can put a new face on it.